Hi. Hello. It's me, Goose. So, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a few months. It's been a, a long stretch of months. Um, a lot of things have been going on in my life uh, that have kept me from recording and putting up videos. And it's been chaos here. Um, just as much as chaotic as it is in the game industry at the moment. And we we knew things were heading down a pretty bad path. And I, I won't waste a lot of time with fluff and grandeur. I am positive you can just go on Twitter or go on YouTube and see countless videos or expressing, you know, burn Xbox to the ground and start over or, you know, whatever. You, you can pick one, pick, pick one. But basically between Sony and Microsoft are, you know, double Dutch busting together on who can be the worst game company uh, in any given week. So it's 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 it's, it's been a nightmare. It's been a nightmare. Uh, if you're owner of your chosen plastic box, uh, it, it's not been fun. It, it's not been fun. There's, not, there, there's been no moment right now where it doesn't matter which game console is your favorite. We, we've all been shit on. And earlier this year, we had the great culling. Uh, there was already in 2023 a bunch of studios that were being pulled back, projects being, you know, postponed, canceled, you know, uh, pushed to later dates. And now in 2024, we are, oh, if you hear thunder in the background, that reflects my mood. Because <laughs> it's thundering over here. Uh, now in 2024, we are seeing game companies literally shuttering studios. Um, we've had massive layoff, massive, massive studios. Uh, studio closings and all of them seem to be coming in situations where the games are profitable or have uh, critical success or awards and they are still being shuttered they're still being shuttered um, early this year Insomniac uh, uh, let go or Sony let go like nearly 900 employees uh, Sony also went ahead uh, with Crying Ryan uh, posing uh, with the people who, the, 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 the many talented people of uh, Sony Studios in London, uh, taking a picture of them, knowing full well that within a week they were not going to have a job. And now, uh, to about a day ago, we have uh, Phil Spencer uh, literally writing in the death note, launching, cutting off four studios from the Xbox brand, from the Bethesda brand. And one of them is Tango Gameworks, and they are the people who made Hi-Fi Rush. Um, which, if you don't remember Hi-Fi Rush, when Forspoken came out early last year and was getting trounced unfairly, I mean, the game's not great, but it's not the worst thing ever made. Xbox released Hi-Fi Rush, Shadow dropped it. There was no promotion, there was no anything for it. And it went on to get a lot of acclaim. A lot of people talked about how much they loved the game, how much they enjoyed the game. And it got a lot of, it was, it was a great uh, feather in the cap for uh, Xbox and for Microsoft that this game was being reviewed so well. Um, and it seemed that this was going to be the start of something great for Microsoft. And I want to come out and say, um, I, I don't give a shit if you are a Sony Pony or an Xbox or, or Nintendo. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I, I, I literally do not care which one you do it. We are talking about an industry that has gotten to the point where it doesn't matter if your game is a critical success. It doesn't matter if your game sells 3.5 plus million copies. It doesn't matter if some suit out there is saying, oh no, we believe in this deal of success. We're going to help them flourish. At any given point, they are going to close your studio. And... I need people to understand how toxic and oppressive that is, regardless of which platform you choose. It is not a good sign for the industry, for the industry that I work in, for the industry that a lot of my friends work in, for an industry that a lot of you claim to be fans of, that they don't know if they'll have a job, even if they do everything right. Do you have any idea how fucked that is. <laughs> it is absolutely positively fucked. We are going after Microsoft now because those four studios were the most egregious. Tango, uh, Arcane, 
and and they, they, they they're the biggest games, the biggest biggest studios that are that have been you know erased from the portfolio for Microsoft. But every time a studio closes is is a bad thing, regardless if you like the games or not, regardless if you know you know whatever culture you want to be part of, it's not good for a studio to close because one game fails or fails to meet expectation because jokes on you we don't know what the expectation is anymore <laughs> we don't know if even selling three million copies is enough to keep them from shutting the door spider-man sold like 10 million copies it cost like close to three million 30 million uh, 300 million to make and yet still the song was still it we still had to let go of people and what's fucked up about Insomniac is that before they were bought up by PlayStation, they were wholly independent. They could work with Microsoft. They could do whatever the hell they want. And, you know, once they got bought up by Sony, now currently, they're going to be the Marvel studio. They're going to be making Marvel games. I don't think they're going to be making another, Inso another Ratchet and Clank game after this point. After Spider-Man's numbers, I don't think they're going to be able to do anything else other than Marvel games. And while that may sound awesome because, you know, Spider-Man was great, Spider-Man 2 was, eh, you know, a potential Wolverine game could be, could be potentially cool, cool. We fell in love with Insomniac for their creativity. We fell in love with Insomniac because of the wonderful talent and the story building and the characters and the original stuff they worked on. And now they're going to be made into a Marvel churning house, you know. I want to be wrong about this. I would love to be wrong about this, but I don't think I'm wrong about this. You know, I don't think I'm wrong. And on the flip side of this, we have Arcane Austin, who helped make, they made Prey, you know, who helped was on Dishonored, and, you know, who, who worked on these games that, you know, Redfall was a game they didn't even want to work on. They didn't even want to work on it. Like, can you imagine, can you imagine going into your job? To your wherever you work, going into your job, and your boss saying, "Okay, we know we make cardboard boxes, but starting today, we're gonna make cars." And you're like, "Okay, well, we're really good at making boxes. Why are we forced to make fucking cars?" And they're like, "Cause that's the style of the time. We want cars. So everyone, roll up your sleeves and make cars." And then you have to sit back and watch as your co-workers who are really good at making fucking boxes, who are known for making really good fucking boxes, either fired or leave off the project. And then you and a couple of people who are left and some people that they brought in to do some stuff are stuck making, you know, a car with whatever material that you have. And then when the game comes out, everybody in their mom are blaming you for how bad it is. When you already stated, we don't want this game. We don't want to work on this game. And then less than a year later, after everything is said and done, your corporate over will come by and say, hey guys, it's been nice, but your car building thing didn't really work out, so we're closing the studio. What the, what the fuck am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to feel knowing that, hey, I have this really good skill in doing this thing and that's the thing I want to do, but you guys clearly didn't know what y'all wanted or y'all were too busy chasing after a trend and now I got to eat the shit for it? You know, I got to eat the shit for it? They were working apparently on Dishonored 3. We could have had a third Dishonored game. That was probably the game that everybody who probably left Redfall wanted to fucking make. And now we don't got it. No, I'm sorry. Correction. No, no. Dishonored is not gone. The IP remains on Microsoft. So at any given moment, much like what happened with Fable, they can hand that IP off to somebody in their ranks and then they can make a sequel or the third Dishonored game. But it won't be by Arcane, um, Arcane Austin. They're not touching that thing. And then we go ahead and we look at what was going on with Hi-Fi Rush, one of the only Xbox games to have such a high score, critical darling, from what we all tend to purposes, relatively decent sales, decent to good sales for the IP for size of the game that it was, you know, awards winning, like a, 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 a feather in the cap, a true diamond in the rough. Close. Gone. You wake up one morning and you check Twitter 
and you read the fucking macro sent out by your um, by your social media manager that they're closing. They're closing your studio. Because a lot of people, when they woke up this morning that were working for those studios, they didn't know they were going to get closed. They had no idea. They just found out their key card doesn't fucking work, or who knows how they would go here. And so we have to ask ourselves, as gamers, what the fuck is going on here? What is happening here? We're already paid too much money for these consoles. We've already paid too much money for these games. Even if you're a PC player, even if you get your games off theme, whatever, these are still games that were made with... No one sets out to make a shitty game. No one sits there and says, we're going to make a shitty game. So every game that you play, regardless of how you feel about it, was made with intentions of making a good game, regardless of how you feel about it. But the people who are making those games are no longer in the business anymore. You know? It's now unstable enough where you probably should not be working in the game industry you know and we're not just talking about you know developers and people leaving we have the growing threat of ai coming in there taking over certain positions and we have a bunch of suits up here who are looking at these creatives who are making these games and they're scratching their name off the list and even though I'm going after Microsoft, so um, with our, that doesn't mean Sony that out of the picture. Sony recently just had their biggest bullshit that they were dealing with, with the Helldivers 2 situation, where, again, the Sony has been chasing a m online multiplayer shooter type game for decades. They've been wanting this for decades. And because Helldivers 2 is doing so really, really, really well on the PC, even though they've already specified that this was always going to happen, somewhere at Sony, which I know is a rarity, they don't think they're run by fucking spite, decide, you know what we're going to do? Let's take this really high selling, probably our best selling PS4, uh, PS5 game currently on the market, and let's just fuck with it. Let's just put our hands and just fuck with it, you know? And while I don't agree with, I'm sorry, sorry to thunder. <laughs> I don't agree with harassing the devs for this decision. I, I, I'm glad that people bullet Sony and changing their mind. I will say that. Next time, don't be assholes and harass people who are working on the game. They don't have a say in the matter. And that's become the biggest problem for a lot of these independent studios. Once you get bought up under these publishers, you no longer have a say in the matter. You are going to be the first people that fans, angry fans and idiots are going to come to, to send hate, to be angry at, to, swirl, to hurl harassment, to laugh at your misfortune, because you're on the front line. While these publishers and these CEOs and whatever are sitting high up somewhere, not paying attention to anything, and having their you know, emergency meetings elsewhere. So, we as gamers, and I'm a long time gamer, I've been gaming since I was like 10 or 12 years old, you know, back in the 90s. I would have never once imagined that this is where we would end up, where a million sales is not enough. You know, getting critical success, critical, you know, uh, uh, reviews and awards is not enough anymore. What is, what is it, what, what is enough now? What is, what is fucking enough? For these companies to get we're gonna go screaming hurling towards the next generation of game where it's just gonna be shooters like fortnite that's what's gonna be happening that's what's gonna happen you you like hi-fi rush well you're not gonna get it at a hi-fi rush at least it's not gonna be made like this you better get used to playing call of duty 47 or 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 whatever you're not gonna get any more small independent titles and that sucks. That sucks. You know? And I, I was talking to uh, my big girl Cabbage about this. About when people talk about the golden era of games and stuff like that. For me personally, the golden era was the PS2. That was the, that was the golden era for me and my brother. There were so many games on the market. You know, all of them differing quality. But there's so many games that were out there for you to play. You know, small games that, you know, have no chance in hell that you'll probably either get remasters of or get collections of. You were drowning in titles. Now, 
we're just getting remakes and remasters. You know, that's all we're getting now. So I don't know what to say to a lot of people outside of me being angry. It's easy for me to get angry and yell at Matt Booty and Crying Ryan and, you know, Big Phil and everybody else and blame them for this. And I should. We should. We should. The shit goes down straight. It is literally their fault. I'm not even joking about it. It is their fault. It is Microsoft's fault for going through and getting Activision. It is Ryan's fault for just being absent. I don't know what the fuck he was doing during the PS5. He was just out to lunch most of the damn time, but he was making the shareholders happy with a lot of anti-consumer practices. We need to stop blaming the developers, stop blaming the studios, and start demanding better from the people who are running these things. We don't have that much money, okay? <laughs> people don't have this much money. Games are things that people can play regardless of what economic station. And I feel as if we need to start fighting these studios. We need to start making sure that they are treated and compensated fairly for whatever they're giving us. Because while you may sit there and say, well, I don't care about High Five Rush. I don't care about Tango Green or Out Game Wars. I don't, I, don't, I don't care about, you know, Redfall suck though. Who cares if that's Redfall? You say that now. Everyone always says that now. But when a studio that you like gets on a chopping block, you're going to be wondering, why isn't anybody talking about this? So, um, that's, that's it. That's all I gotta say. Sorry. I, I, I wanted this to be funny. <laughs> I've been in a perpetual state of anger these last 24 hours. And these last few months have just been a lot. And I want to do a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth video, but I'm, I'm just full of rage right now. And I'm full of rage and I'm full of sadness. And to those who were affected by these layoffs, um, current and old layoffs. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that this has happened. And I want you to know that we appreciate the time and the creativity and the love you put into this game. Even if it might not have been my favorite game, even if it might have been, you know, Twitter's new whipping boy, whatever. I appreciate what you've done. And I, I hope you're able to find yourselves in stable positions elsewhere, even if it's not going to be in the game industry. And um, I wish you all good luck. And my name is Goose. I'm exhausted. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.